Hello and welcome. I have just got back from the New Zealand Brass Band Championships. This is the competition for brass bands here in New Zealand and it was held this year down in Christchurch. In Christchurch bands competed in one of five categories. We have A grade bands which are the absolute cream of the crop as far as bands go in New Zealand. We have B grade which are above average town regional bands. We've got C grade which is still worth a listen. We've got D grades which are and we also have youth grades, uh, which is for youth and development bands. Despite having been to the Nationals many, many times over many, many years, I've only actually ever represented two bands. In my youth, I played with the Omaru Garrison Band, which distinguished itself one year by, becoming, uh, by getting last in the D grade, which is about as bad as you can get. Uh, and the band that I currently play with is the Mighty Hut City Brass, which uh, represents in the B grade. So having gone down on Christchurch, I prepared myself for my first event, which was a solo. I competed in the Open Euphonium solos, Open referring to the fact that there isn't an age restriction as there are in some of the youth grades. Uh, and here I competed against 11 other euphophonists. Um, now I didn't score particularly well, I got a majestic 7th place. Um, although if you exclude the people that competed from A grade bands, then I got second, which is sort of a result that I uh, am a little bit happier about mentioning. Wednesday the 14th of July and the day after, the Thursday, uh, were dedicated for solo, ensemble, duet, smaller events. Uh, but on Friday we started the band events. So the first thing we did was our own choice sacred item where we played a hymn tune arrangement of Flow Gently Sweet Afton. Uh, sounds a little bit like this. Immediately after that piece we performed this year's set work, which for the B grades we all had to play Fendel Hill's test piece, which was named Temperamental. <laughs> Friday afternoon was the Street March. This is generally the most hated event of the competitions, but it is uh, it is compulsory for everyone apart from the youth grades. Uh, and so all 30-something brass bands march down a course and are judged on their music, because walking and playing is actually quite difficult, and their drill, which is the technical elements of marching. I haven't taken part in the Street March for many, many years due to my spinal issues, but this year I had the heroic responsibility of holding the sign that had the band's name on it, uh, which is an odd requirement, but that was my job, and this was a role that I took very seriously indeed. was 
was the youth bands. They did, these guys didn't have to uh, actually march, and um, but it was fantastic to see all these young kids go marching down the street, just having fun. It was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> On Saturday, our band finished its events with the own choice. This is a band selected item that is just supposed to demonstrate the capability of the band uh, while still being a decent stretch uh, musically and, and things like that. We choose to play Philip Sparks' London Overture. <laughs> Overall, in the B-grade, Hut City Brass won the set piece, and we got third in the sacred item and own choice, which gave us an aggregate place out of second out of eight, uh, which was a, a, an absolutely fantastic result. So the band's pretty stoked with that. The premier event of the national competitions is the A-grade own choice. This is where all of the A-grade bands, the premier bands of New Zealand, compete and present a piece of music of their own choosing. And this is always a phenomenal listening experience, and this year was no exception. Like previous years, this was won by Wellington Brass, um, and they did an absolutely fantastic job, as they pretty much always do. Overall, it was a fantastic few days out of town for me, and uh, now I just have a big long wait until next year, where we do it all over again. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.